one cup of cashews raw cashews to three cups water leave it overnight or for eight hours then blend it until it's so pure that you don't have anything but pureness mm. and now you're putting it over a bo over the stove you're going to keep on turning this until it gets hot to the touch but don't let it boil I'm going to add in one teaspoon apple cider vinegar a half a cup of real lemon or lemon and a salt to taste. I'm putting in the lemon juice, put in the apple cider vinegar. I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes as you put it in very, very lightly. Giving it for 20 minutes. Doesn't that look delicious? Undisturbed. And then I will go back and I will put it through some t shirt material to get out the curd. <laughs> we're going to pour it through here and we're going to see if there's any loose curd, which it shouldn't be. But I'm going to pour it through here, so wait and see after. So now we're going to put this whole thing in the refrigerator for eight hours so this drains out. And then after that, we have another eight hours. So in 16 hours, we'll see. How freaking beautiful is this beach right now? Wow. Join me on Periscope for a beautiful sunset. Woo wee. I like walking back in the darkness. <laughs> Par for the course for the course when you're doing sunsets and they end it's dark out here sitting here for a few hours it's so creamy i just tasted it oh my god it's so good i can't wait to finish it tomorrow tomorrow so it is now eight hours later i looked on the bottom to see if there's anything in there it was liquid i dumped it and i put this back i put this plate on it and leveled it and now it's going to sit for another eight hours. So it's not a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of time. But how good the cashew mixture has been sitting for like 16 hours now. I'm going to be adding in the garlic, a pinch of sugar, but I'm using pure monk, which is not sugar, it's substitute mustard. You know how thick it got? I just put it in here. Now I'm going to put in all of my stuff, like my garlic, my barley powder, my onion powder, my nutritional yeast mustard monk fruit and mix it all up and it should be ready I don't know. see how Let's thick see. it got I just put it in here now I'm going to put in all of my stuff like my garlic my barley powder my onion powder my nutritional yeast mustard monk fruit and mix it all up and it should be ready I don't know okay Let's now see. I put it all in I put in a half a teaspoon nutritional yeast a quarter of a pound a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder garlic powder a clove of garlic black pepper and a little bit of salt. Okay, put it in the blender and Okay, look at it came out so creamy and everything. Now I'm going to okay, taste look it. Okay, look at it came out so creamy and everything. Now I'm going to okay, taste delicious. it. It's delicious, really delicious. You definitely should make this. What I added was a drop more garlic tahini. I added that much tahini and a little bit more mustard. But you'll make it to your liking, but this is really delicious and enough for like 10 people.